Okay, we're going to try and sketch a graph of this equation right here. So I think uh, what I'll start with is a, a line, just a couple of straight lines that I can that I can use. So I notice that. It has this uh, this midline here at 10, so that's 10, and then that three that's my stretch above and below it. So it'll be up here. It'll go up to 13, and it should come down to uh, let's see, 10 minus three is seven. So let me sketch those. Be a line there, a line there. Great. So that helps a lot. Um, I know that it's sine. So since it's sine, I know that sine starts at the middle, goes up, back down, back down, back up to the middle. And that would be one, uh, one kind of cycle for sine, like that. Um, so now what I need to do, and I know those heights, I know those y values, so now I need to figure out those x values. So now I'm going to think about the, the period for this. And the period for sine on its own, without a multiplier, uh, is 2 pi. So it usually goes from 0. 2 pi. But notice this 2 makes things happen twice as fast. So basically that gets cut in half. So my period is now 0 to pi. So let me think about those pieces. Uh, half of pi is uh, pi over 2. Half of pi over 2 is pi over 4. 1 pi over 4, 2 pi over 4, 3 pi over 4. So that's what this 2 does is it gives me uh, those that would be from 0 to 2 pi down to there. Uh, and then now I have this minus pi over 3. What that does is that shifts everything um, right pi over 3. So I'm going to add um, pi over 3 to all these. So 0 plus pi over 3, pi over 3. That's pretty easy. Uh, pi over 4 and pi over 3. If I think about these as 12ths, pi over 3 is, is 4 pi over 12. Pi over 4 is 3 pi over 12. So this must be 7 pi over 12. I'll just keep doing those additions this way. Um, pi over 2 plus pi over 3, that's like uh, basically 2 thirds plus, uh, no, no, sorry, 2 sixths plus 3 sixths. And they're both in terms of pi. So it should be 5 pi over 6. If I do this addition, uh, 3 pi over 4, plus pi over 3, and that's uh, 13 pi over 12. And then pi is, is 3 pi over 3. Add one more of those, and I have 4 pi over 3. And that uh, 4 looks kind of like a 9, so let me try and clean it up at least a, at least a little bit. 4. <laughs> that helps. Um, so anyways, those are my x values. So this point is at... Uh, pi over 3, 10. And this point is at 7 pi over 12, 13. This point's at uh, 5 pi over 6, 10. I had a height of 10. This one is going to be at 13 pi over 12, 7. And this one's back up to that midline. 4 pi over 3, 10. And there's my sketch of that equation.